Hi Brad from WordPressSites.net I'd just like to show you how to add drop downs in your menu if you've got, uh, got a menu uh, take this one for instance and you want some drop downs here so you want to jam a lot of, uh, a lot of pages into a new menu you've only got a certain amount of main, main menus uh, you could, pages you can include up in this top menu here so you can fit a lot more in a lot more pages in if you have these fan, what they call fancy drop downs so it's very very easy to add pages here you want to make sure that any drop downs here in, in any of these main uh, menus are uh, related to this top level uh, keyword for, for search engine optimization so it's very easy you just log into your back end um, select menus which is on the left hand side here menus is under appearance so make sure you click on menus um, and that'll take you to the menu so here's your menu you can create unlimited menus and you just give the menu name you call them menu 1, menu 2, menu 3 whatever you like uh, and you can easily add on. I've shown you in the previous video which is on my YouTube account how to create menus if you want to change the order of the menu you just simply drag them like this it's very very simple you just drag them wherever you want to place them on the menu so, so that's all you need to do you just change them around a bit which is really really easy and then just save the menu now you can easily change which menu you're using as well you've got in this theme they offer primary and secondary navigation so you can just go in here and you might have created five menus and you'll just go into the menu name highlight it and save and that'll start using that menu as your primary menu and you can do the same for the secondary menu in this case here uh, the primary menu is up the top here and the secondary menu is down here and this will actually be the category menu because the client wants to use the different categories here So, but it doesn't have to be categories it can be more pages or whatever you like it's very very simple now to create the fancy drop down which I showed you before like this uh, it's very very simple uh, you basically just create a new page, I'll show you how to do that uh, just go to pages, add new page uh, we'll just put a test 2 in here and, and that's all you do, you create the new page, whatever you want to call it uh, this will be included in the drop down area put your content in here whenever you like uh, first of all you can just create the page so we just have to publish that but before we do this is this is this is important we have to publish it to the correct parent so if the uh, if you wanted to include this as part of uh, say this has something to do with diet you'll click on diet and diet becomes the parent and uh, we just publish that now and we'll see what that does Okay, we'll just refresh this and we'll have a look at it. Now under diet we've created test, we've created a new page. So that's all you need to do to create more pages. You just create them as the parent. Um, when you're creating a new page, down here where it says uh, page attributes. So you find the, the top level uh, menu name and then uh, create a new page and make sure you create it to the parent uh, the parent page there and, it, and it's included in the drop down so that's very very easy uh, if you need to change the order I've shown you how to do that before uh, if, if you need to change the order in the drop down um, I don't think you can just drop and drag them like I showed you before I think what you need to do is uh, you need to delete the page and uh, and then create a new page. So if you've got content, make sure you save that. Uh, you copy and paste it. And also, don't forget here with the template, if you're using a premium theme, you've got a choice of templates. So this is just the default template, but it also comes in different style templates. You've got a blog template, and you can you normally offer a landing page here as well. So, uh, so that's really good for, for opt-in and driving, driving uh, new visitors to opt-in to your site. So there you have it. Cheers.